Steam Play is a big deal, letting you play PC games on Linux directly through the Steam interface. Steam Play is still in beta, but it already works great, letting you play over a thousand games that were previously unavailable on Linux. You just need to enable the Steam Play beta and use an internal Steam tool called Proton to get it going. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to set up Steam Play to play Windows games on Linux. Valve already revolutionized Linux gaming once before by choosing to extend Steam to support the open source operating system. Now they've done it again by incorporating their own version of Wine into Steam and using it to automatically launch Windows games from the same interface. That's right, you can now play many of your Windows games on Steam with Steam Play. Steam Play isn't available on the official mainstream Steam release just yet, it's still in beta, but that doesn't mean it's difficult to install, exclusive or buggy. It's actually well polished and you'll find that it reliably runs a whole new library of games. Install Steam. If you haven't already installed Steam on your Linux install, go ahead and do that now. On Debian and Ubuntu, you merely type sudo apt install steam. On Fedora, first you need to enable RPM Fusion. You can copy and paste the text in the description. Uh, and then you can install Steam with dnf install steam. In Arch Linux, you type sudo pacman minus s steam. In OpenSUSE you can type sudo zipper install steam. In Gen2 install and set up the steam overlay. sudo emerge dash dash ask layman sudo layman dash updater dash r sudo layman dash l sudo layman dash a steam dash overlay. Now you can install steam with sudo emerge dash dash ask steam dash launcher. All of these instructions are available to cut and paste in the description. Enable beta access. Once you have steam installed and running you can opt in to the steam beta. Click on steam in the upper left corner of your screen. Then click settings. In the resulting window pick the account tab. You'll find a subheading there labeled beta participation. Select the change button. Pick Steam Beta Update on the next window and press OK. Steam will then ask you to restart. Accept. Configure your settings. After Steam finishes reinstalling itself and rebooting, you will notice that Steam does have a slightly updated look. Return to the settings menu and then select the Steam Play tab towards the bottom of the window. Check the boxes to enable Steam Play for both supported titles and if you're willing to take a chance all titles. At the bottom of the window there's a drop down menu that lists something called Proton with a version number. Proton is Steam's built in version of Wine and no the version doesn't correspond to a version of Wine. Open up that menu and select the latest version of Proton. OK, launch a game. Return to your Steam library. Immediately you will notice many more options. Actually all of your games for both Windows and Linux will be listed if you check the box to enable Steam Play for everything. Look through your library for a Windows game that you want to try. Steam Play support is listed along with the supported platforms on the games page in the Steam Store if you'd like to check before installing something. That said, there are plenty of games that work but aren't officially supported. Click on the game in your library to launch it. Steam will begin installing it normally or it will just launch the game if the game is already installed. In most cases the game will open and run exactly like a native Linux game would. Yes, that's how easy Steam Play makes it. If Valve successfully implements Steam Play across the Windows titles, they will have successfully eliminated the last major barrier to widespread Linux gaming. No one likes configuring Wine, but if the process is as seamless as Steam Play makes it, the process is a valid option for nearly everyone, and that's a huge deal for the future of Linux as a gaming platform. OK, if you like this video, then please tap that like button, leave a comment, and perhaps also visit our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials, and lists about all things tech. We cover Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, and everything in between, so we'll almost definitely have something for you. Plus, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our latest videos, and hey, why not hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. OK, as always, thanks for watching, and that's it for now. See you next time.